I, fi- I found it. Yay. By the time Tim gets this started, the Celtics would have already lost by now. Like you shot oh, your whole mouth, your eye hole. Ha 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 ha! Welcome everybody, <laughs> and welcome to episode one hundred and nineteen. Let's go heat of ripping the rack podcast. I am your host Tim. With me today is the Ghostal Crusader, Mr. Brian Ather. And finally, after a, a hiatus of 849 days. I missed two like shows. That. I went to Ireland. If you ever get a chance to go, go. It's amazing. Um, it, it was one of the most incredible places I've ever been. Is that it? Oh, you guys... Yeah. Oh, okay. always got, man. All right. And with Alvin, I like your name. That's great. Thank you. Uh, ah! Today is the King of the North. Let's go. Uh, Calvin Locke. And we're going to do this properly. We are the co-hosts of Mr. Tim Hall of Fame <laughs> Matero. Congratulations, big man. Thank you. Well, well, deserved. Deserved, sir. well, well deserved. deserved, sir. Thank you. Well deserved. Good job, I appreciate buddy. it. Now we can also be the only podcast that has a Hall of Fame host. Right? <laughs> that is true. Now. Yes. Now. I can I can be the last person before Tim F and Matero to throw a ball and it would just it's it's the greatest thing ever. It's, <laughs> Tim Hall of Fame Matero will never throw another ball again and I watch Well, it let's fly. let's <laughs> let's not say never. Let's hey, let's once you're in the Hall of Fame you're not allowed to unretire. You you're done. That's But the, I haven't that's, retired. That's the end of Holbrook. <laughs> I have I I haven't retired. <laughs> what do you want? I, the IR. I, I'm, on I'm on the I'm on the IR and uh, and thank oh, you, no. Ian. I appreciate it. What is it? The, you're on the physically unable to perform list. I'm on the pup list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll we'll see. We'll, we're I've gone I've gone from full retirement to God. I'm not going to really retire to. Oh boy, I think I will probably pick up another ball again at some point to okay, I, I think I'm ready to go bowling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And in like six months it'll be like, oh my god, I want to go bowl so bad. <laughs> so we'll we'll see. I'm I'm patiently waiting for uh thy doctor's appointment, which will be towards the end of June. That will kind of give me the next uh the next steps or the next direction on um, my saga of back your future endeavors. Yes. Huh. We wish you well on your future endeavors. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but no, that was, um, um, that was a, one of the coolest phone calls I've ever gotten. So I'll, yeah. Right. You know, thank God you answered. I know you, if you'll recognize that. I didn't, I answer. didn't answer. It went to, it went to voicemail. <laughs> Did you really? I was, I was, no, I was on the phone. I was working. Uh, so I was on the phone with a customer. And uh, I saw another phone come off, another phone, another uh, number come in, met from Massachusetts. And that could be another customer because obviously we have, you know, people up here and stuff like that. Um, so I got off the phone and Evan calls. And I answer the phone and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm working. And he goes, have you got a phone call yet? I was like, I don't know. He goes, well, I think they're making phone calls today and tomorrow. So if you get something, you should probably answer it. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, maybe I better listen to that voicemail. Yeah. So I listened to the voicemail and it was uh, it was uh, Maria uh, Angelotti from uh, the ICBA. And so I called her right back and. Uh, Were you was, shaking, dialing the phone? No, no. I, I mean. Oh, your uh, heart was palpitating. Uh, no, Tim thought it was but, a cease and desist about the podcast. I figured yeah, it might have right. been. <laughs> it might have been that cease and desist about the uh, podcast. Yeah. Um, no, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was surreal. It was. You know, I'd never. And Brian can attest to this. I never kind of gave it a thought until a couple of years ago, like when I was getting close to fifty, and someone asked me, "Hey, do you, do you think you'll get in?" I was like, "I." hadn't really given it a thought but since then um yeah obviously i've thought about it and tim do i get to be your plus one no that's gonna be my wife tim i'm sorry 
Angie doesn't want to be there. But she, <laughs> true, but you know. I just want to see Bob get in. That's all I want to see. I don't... <laughs> oh, that's what I'm. That's that's why I'm going. Oh, okay, I, I, yeah. I want to see. Uh, I want to see. You know, Bobby Kelly and and well, put you know, the Bobby Witt. Huh? Put the rest of the list up. All right, let's talk. Let's talk Hall of Fame. Yeah. So first, <laughs> I, I I do want to congratulate all of the uh, inductees uh, into this year's class. Um, we all very. Do. You should start saying that more. We at Ripping the Rack would like to. It's just always you, Tim. You're not the only one on this so, podcast who likes to feel happy for everybody else. What the hell has it become just me? Well, because you always say, I, I would like to. And then we just can't say anything because right. you just keep going on and on. Where you could say, we at Ripping the Rack. If you want to say, I, get your own fucking podcast. I did. <laughs> he did this show when I, had, when I was COVID quarantined by himself for two weeks and people didn't listen. It was, exactly. it was, oh my God. You know how hard it is to do this damn show by yourself? <laughs> like literally talk for an hour with That's no one there. And you're like, you're asking a question and you're like, well, let me answer that question. That's what that's what radio people do all the time. I don't know how the hell they do it. I, I don't know either. I don't. So those uh, those that are watching on our YouTube channel right now can see the list of the 2023 inductees into the Candlepin Hall of Fame. Um, hey, can one of you actually? Um, no. Okay. I was going to put a post on our Facebook page that we're live with a link to oh. our Facebook page. Um, no, but I'm sharing know. the screen, so I don't know if I can. So anyway, oh, okay. uh, so I completely had a squirrel moment. Squirrel. Brian, you want to take it? Take it, because I just lost what I was going to yeah, say. So we can say congratulations to the 2023 inductees this year in the Klinopin Hall of Fame. Uh, for, for competitive ability, we have uh, Wally Bislinski, Cindy, I can't pronounce that last name. It's Aldo, Al Johnson, Bob Kelly, Tim Effin Matero, Mike Morrow. Am I the only one here? Music? Yes. Yes. Joe Anderson. What did you do? What the hell's going on? <laughs> you hit something. Sorry. It's probably it's probably when your screen twitched. You probably hit something. Oh my god! Well, it's playing that. Uh, you're, we're gonna play a video a, for folks. You're having uh, a squirrel moment, and now you're invading on my squirrel <laughs> moment. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Brian. Where did you st where did you stop off? Uh, Joanne Rosado, uh, Jackson, you Harry Renau, Steve Renau, Bobby Witt, and Scott Whitney. And then for extraordinary service and sport contribution, we have Wayne McDonald and Claire and Bert Duby. Ceremony to be held. <laughs> You didn't want to he read just, the he, No, we just said talk about the inductees, not the place of induction. The uh, ceremony will be held at the Castleton <laughs> Inn, Wyndham, New Hampshire, Saturday, October 21st of 2023. Uh, I have no information as to tickets, ticket costs. Do, that we, have to do, the, yet. do we have to do the red carpet pre-show? Oh, the, oh we should. Uh, 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 oh, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> We should. That would be that, would that would be great. So I um some of these folks I, I would love to be able to talk about, but I can't because I don't know them. Um you know, Wally, I know a little bit, but he got done before I came onto the scene. I just know him from the old, you know, TV shows, channel fives that's been uploaded, things like that. Um, you know, I, I know, you know, Holbrook and those guys can talk more about you know, Basilinski and, you know, the things that he did uh, within the game. Uh, same with Cindy. Um, Cindy, I, I think she's from Massachusetts. I think. Master New Hampshire. Again, she was um, getting done right when I was kind of coming on the scene. Alfie, I think we all know what Alfie's done. Um, guy Very is a world well, well he's a world i mean world record holder for 10 strings um and you know he's he's put up with a lot of uh a lot of crap and getting his you know getting the candle pins for cancer going um but i think uh i think he's done a wonderful job with that i think he's really kind of taken that you know to the next kind of next level 
so yeah. to speak. Um, Bobby Kelly, I can't wait for his speech. Uh, I, if you don't, if you don't know Bobby, this this could be interesting. It's either going to be uh, he's going to walk up, he's going to look around, he's going to say thank you, and he's just going to leave. Please. <laughs> or he's going to, uh, you know, walk around, you know, walk up there and, and, you know, tell a couple of jokes, drop a couple of F-bombs and, you know. Are these going to be recorded? Because I would love that. <laughs> I would. I don't know. I, you I go Facebook Live from your table. <laughs> if, if Bobby's speech is anything like riding to the airport with Bobby at 4.30 in the morning, I can't wait. <laughs> oh no, that'll be that'll be fun. No, Bobby Bobby's gonna have a he's he deserves this Hall of Fame. Yes, very much. Um he uh I still remember watching him uh, in my first worlds. Um I think he got done just a year or two after I um started with the worlds and stuff. But uh he had a he had a really great career. Um couple of 200s you know some big wins lots of world titles lots of world's titles i mean did he win the singles ever the knockout is he what did he win the knockout i don't i don't think so i i don't know um mike morrill i i don't know mike i just i've seen you know some things on facebook from from him and stuff but i i don't know him to you know, to talk about it. Um, I don't know any of these people except for Bobby Witt and you. So, well, you know, Jojo, Joanne Rosano. I wouldn't know her from a hole in the wall. I may know the name. Oh, you know, Jojo. We Everybody jo- knows Jojo. Jojo needs to go last in the induction because Jojo will need extra time. No, no. Lots she's... of extra time. Jojo is, Jojo is one of my favorites. She's, uh, she has the, if I'm not mistaken, she has the most Pro Tour women's titles in the history of bowling. Can't I think that. so. Something like that. 20-something. She, she won 20-something. Um, you know, she's still she's still bowling. She's still, yep. you know, Exeter Pro League. She's still out there, you know, throwing the ball. She's, mm-hmm. um, she's, she's notoriously a slow mm-hmm. bowler. But the best part about JoJo is she knows that, and she'll look right at you and say, "Bowl your yes, own speed." No. Yeah, just don't cut me off. That's it. <laughs> yeah, she 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 don't care, but she's a sweetheart. Yeah, um, she's she's I I got to know her better last year in the Exeter Pro League, um, you know things like that. She's she's a sweetheart. Um, Jack, I he was done before I started. I only know him through watching, you know, the TV shows on YouTube that's been uploaded and stuff. Um, Harry and Steve, I mean, I I think that's long overdue for both. Mm-hmm. Um, Steve, I, I, I got the pleasure of watching Steve when I was, oh, I think I was like 18. Um, they had the Pepsi doubles in uh, at Colonial Lanes in Westboro. And Al Joy and Russ Neely bowled uh, Steve and um, can't remember who Steve's partner was, but that was my first time seeing him bowl. And I just sat back and went, holy shit. Like he could throw the ball. He threw it hard. He was accurate. Um, Pins exploded when he, you know, when he threw it. Uh, Injuries certainly took their toll on Steve, Uh, you know, shoulder. Certainly can't throw it like he used to, but he's still out bowling. And and again, one of the nicest guys you're ever going to meet. And does a lot for the junior game. Yes. Very much so. Yes. And I know it means a lot to him to go in with his dad in the same class. Oh, I think that was, I, 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 that's what they were hoping for. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and, and again, just very, very well deserved. Um, Bobby Witt, I, can't say anything. I don't. I, I can't say anything bad about no. it. I mean, How could you ever? The guys had thirty plus years averaging one hundred and twenty. I was going to say, yeah, he he's over thirty years of averaging one hundred and twenty in a in a league. I mean, the he, he said he's. I don't think he's missed the playoffs either. He he said he and Baker, he, 
And they're the only two that haven't missed the playoffs when they bowl that many years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know uh, Baker's never missed the playoffs in what twenty five years? Oh, 30? No, he's never missed it. I don't he's never bowled. He's never not made Saturday. Yeah, not made Saturday. Yeah. Twenty five years or something. Um <laughs> but I mean the accomplishment the accomplishments of Bobby alone um absolutely deserves to be in. Um and if there was a nicest guy in the Hall of Fame, he would probably win that award as well. Yeah. Um, I I love Bobby. I, I, I have an immense amount of respect for him as a person and as a competitor. So um, huge congratulations there. And then uh, Scott Whitney, um, if there's someone in chat that could give us some info, that would be great, but I do not know don't know who Scott Whitney is unless I'm having a brain cramp, which would not be surprising. And you know, it, no idea. this raises the question, like, yes, if everyone is deserving. When do we get Canadians the recognition they deserve? Because there are many, many, many Hall of Fame caliber Canadian bowlers. They got to be nominated. Is that it? Yes. There you go. The Pierre. only so, way the only way you can get into the Hall of Fame is by being nominated. Yeah, but isn't there a whole criteria of like attributes and what they did and blah 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 blah? Yeah, you I mean you've got to re you, you can't just you know you can't just put in, you know, I nominate Calvin Lott and not have anything to back it up. It is not an easy process because I no. nominated I nominated my sister. Um and after going through, and it would have been cool, and she she did not make it in this time. Uh, I would love to think she'll make it in next time, but that's that's for the next vote. Um, but there are a ton of Canadian bowlers that could be in, uh, but you have to be nominated. You can't just you can't just go, hey, Kansas Snow should be in. He should be, but like the people that know a couple of his singles and can write a fairly eloquent soliloquy about him so i totally off the subject here um i have had a couple of people reach out that when they're on live on our youtube page watching this they can't comment they don't have the comment the ability to comment do you have it as subscribers only i don't think so I can't. Well, I guess I'm. But we're commenting on street on our. So anyway, I wanted to bring that up, and I did I, get a. I, I have did a chat. Get... You can't comment, but you can chat. Okay, so if you're listening and you can't look for some type of chat feature, it's on the, it's on the right. It's on the right hand side. Look for a chat feature for those that can't see it. It's kind of like OnlyFans, Scott. Kind of. We got big booty Brian. He he's <laughs> he's got his own little channel. So yeah. um, and I did get a message. Uh thank you, Paul. Candle Pin Bowling Network will be at the ceremony. Oh, Wait. so we don't have to do the red carpet? So we'll leave the red carpet to them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um and then again, extraordinary service and sport contribution, Wayne McDonald and Claire and Bert Doobie. Um I mean, they've, they've obviously made it in. They've given a lot of time, a lot of effort into the game. I know Claire and Burt well, um, and I know what they did. Um, Scott, that's a totally separate feature. You've got to wait for Brian's. <laughs> that comes after his big booty pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Big booty feet. <laughs> but uh, uh, Claire and Burt definitely uh, did a lot, you know, for the game. Uh, Tim's down got a lot in, uh, of feet. So he can do it. Oh God. <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, <laughs> that that got a little weird. Uh yeah. so now that we now that we have this function of screen sharing, um, I want to do a little video. I'm okay. excited. Let's Good. let's let's watch this and let's comment. 
This was posted on Candlepin Chat this week. It's a highlight this, of sorts. This was. Definitely a highlight. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we have the wizard, Chris Winniars. And what he does is very wizardry. It's yes. very wizardry. So let's uh let's uh let's watch this in awe. Oh, oh, boy. Uh, oh boy. Good ball. Oh, 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 that's gonna be tough. Oh no. And oh, oh, uh, uh, are you serious? No. Are you serious? We're very <laughs> serious. Yeah. I uh <laughs> I, I enjoy it. it... Uh, I, I I have only seen that just a couple of times. Um, In the last 10 minutes. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't I, know how I, many times. I think I watched it five or six times when it first came out. I, I, <laughs> there's no... I, I will admit I did watch it a few times and cringed every time. Just because I... Again, I've done the two and the three. I've never done the two, three, one. Um, I saw Al Joy do that. Two, three, one in a league back in 91, 92, something like that. And again, Calvin, I think you mentioned it, that you yeah. saw um, Mike Hall do it at Worlds. Mike Hall do it at Worlds. And I, w I think I was bowling next to it when yeah, I saw his, it happen. His was a little so. different because the one pin stayed on the plate. So it was a little different than really plucking out. He just threw a very girly ball and completely <laughs> missed everything. Should, should we watch that one more time? I mean, there's no, there's no harm. Oh, I, I, I think for me, I, I, oh, I think for me, it's the, it's the flute in the background. Quarter break. Right. Oh, <laughs> quarter break. Oh, and <laughs> the head, the, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm I've so gone, I've gone two pin, three pin, one five. Uh, <laughs> I'm for serious, oh. my man. <laughs> Calvin, we're not going to see any of that in the K&A, are we? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, not in Fairview. Man, you, you know, can't... The, the... Are you really doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what a flute. <laughs> <laughs> you know he listens to this. Uh, the clock. What a right off. Right? And... Kapooey! <laughs> the head thing. Oh, are you serious? Are you, are you serious? serious? I'm so serious. <laughs> I hope Chris is watching this episode. Oh my god! Oh, well, he does. guy. He, he's a postal delivery guy. And he listens on his route every Tuesday. Oh, ah, okay. Then he'll it's know the, exactly. It's to me. It's the flute. The off key flute. <laughs> you know what song that yes. is, right? That's yeah. Well, yeah. It's Titanic. Watch. It's yeah. yeah. Oh, but you know the other, and I'm gonna find the other video because he does make a great shot. Um, I'll find that. Keep talking about yourself because I'm actually Sorry. still laughing at the. <laughs> so, <sighs> Brian, before we're so rudely interrupted, how did you enjoy your wrestling this weekend? Oh, I loved it. It was very good. I haven't watched the TNA one yet, and I haven't watched Double or Nothing. I have seen the reviews of Double or Nothing, and it, it was uh, it was terrible. I, I heard it was not great. I was pleasantly surprised with most of uh, Night of Champions. I thought it really was well put together. Oh yeah. man, I mean, like the women's everything... matches were terrible. The women's what? You I, did, oh, I like the Oscar no. and the Oscar match. I like that. Right, one. right. That was the only one I liked. The other two, yeah, that great. But yeah, the other one was, the other two were fantastic. Trish and man, it looked like Trish hadn't got out of there. I, I didn't like the finish. Tim, we're not playing this again. I love the finish because it creates. Oh no, this isn't that, this. This is not. This is this is Chris doing something good. Right, oh, let's, there's so a difference. Okay, so we'll watch. Good. We'll watch this. <laughs> We were so, talking wrestling. The top seed of the conference. Another crossover. Another wall at discount. The five the and ten. No, again. no luck. Again. Hey, I think I, I will give Will credit. He's, I, uh, I just he's, called him Johnny Lowe's. Excuse me. I know, but he's come along. He, 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 Paul and I had this long conversation the other day about it. And, and the this is a good This is a no, it's not. It's a bad shot. The yeah. wall comes oh, back. Oh, he got oh, it. Wow, oh, what a shot for his hair. He got so oh, three out of four. No, it's a shot. great shot. No, it isn't. Sure, it is. How is that not a good shot? How is that not a good shot? He tried the wall. Come back. He got, got it. Wow, what a shot for his hair. Pause it. There's, that's not a good shot. That's a bad it, shot. He it's played not it a bad shot. Yes, did the shot go? 
how you're right it went but then how the hell is it a shot. bad shot because he got lucky and he played it off he he you got make lucky all the time off the wall. Fair lanes. Off the wall, everything not. goes off the wall at Fairlane. Well, yeah, but I never said it was a good shot when I when it goes off how the wall. Can, right? How can that not be a good That's shot? A good shot because you played it wrong. Jesus, Calvin, did it go? He got lucky to make it. Did it go? You're right, it went. Then it's a good shot. No, it's not. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. He's a Dude, I'm in the Hall of Fame. You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, the seven, if the seven was there... And he cut it off the seven, and then it flung off the wall. Absolutely, because there's one side or the other to pick it from. This one, he played it on the right side, and it went off, off the, the shot. Wall. Exactly. Thank you, Scott. It's a lucky. But it shot. doesn't it matter if it's shot. lucky; it's still a great shot. Okay, if I play the four pin and I get a strike, you're telling me that's a good shot? Did it no. go? It's a working no. ball. No. Tim. Did it go? You got fucking lucky. If I play the four seven pocket. <laughs> Yeah, and I throw a strike with a head pin going right. down last. Absolutely. Do you know how excited I get? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm okay with it. Yeah, you should Good. be. Okay I'm glad with you're it. okay. Hey, you know what? I'm, when you hey. go back and you look at the score and you look at the box, it's just a mark. that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, that's a great if, shot. It, it's if if we're talking about, uh, I can't remember. We're what not you talking said, about boats. No. You said if we're talking about. We're not talking no, about I never boat. said I never said a boat. I said about a boot. Like a normal person. About. Not a boot. I don't know where Nick, you, you know, American. Nico says it right. You get fired up. Right. Nico says where, right. Stop where, on where you Americans get your fucking shit from, flum. <laughs> but we don't it's talk like a boot. Risky. We don't say a boot. We say about in like a normal person. Anyways, it was not a good shot. It was a lucky shot. Congrats to him for it going. It Good was not him. a lucky I didn't shot. Say you said boot. I said you said boat. Tim Matero, you look me in the face right now and you tell me that if you're playing the five ten, you're cutting the five over to the seven. I am hey, now. Fuck up. No, you're not. You're a lying son of a bitch. Hey, I'm just I'm happy tired if I hit the five ten. I'm tired of it. No. Why why you why you gotta swear at me? Because right, I have to I until you listen. Bit. It was not a good shot. Boxing is naughty. It was it was a lucky shot. Congrats that it went, but it was not a good shot. He played it, it wrong. Was a great and he got shot. Lucky. No, it was no. a fantastic Why shot. Why do you guys sound like Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith? Right? <laughs> because we're trying to make this show great again. I'm sure I'm going to get bombarded, but I have no idea who those two people are. So, who, whoever he just said, Skip Bayless Scott. and Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. First take on ESPN. Uh, no, they don't I don't. We don't get ESPN yeah. up here. We have TSN. We have Jay Onright and uh, some other chick. And you have thirty-seven shows about hockey and then one half hour about everything else in the world. Uh, no, there's curling in there too. Depends so. on the time of year. <laughs> but yes, there's usually an hour about hockey and then nothing else yeah. until hockey's over, and then it's baseball or CFL. No, nobody likes the CFL. <laughs> I was going to say, no one likes the CFL. Even the CFL doesn't like the yeah, CFL. Even the CFL is like, can we go to the NFL yet or what? We should do relegation, Tim. The NFL, <laughs> should, you should get relegated to the CFL. That's what it should be. The winner the winner of the NFL or the CFL goes up to the NFL and the, lose, the last place goes down to the CFL. It'd be hilarious. That'd be great. So We'd never see the Detroit Lions in the league again. Dude, they're building a powerhouse. They're going to be good this year. We'd never, we'd never see the Houston Texans in the league again because they still wouldn't win the CFL. <laughs> yeah, could, could they get even relegated further to like? Yeah, right. Could you go down to the university level? Maybe get down there. <laughs> I don't know. Alabama beat them. Alabama, oh, probably. All right, Tim. What else we got? Oh my uh, I got god! Some results. Let's talk about results. Yeah, well, um, we have some results to talk about, some Canadian results. I have one. I, I, I don't remember anything else. I don't think there was anything else. Two weeks is a long time. I think we need to go back to weekly because two weeks, I oh, forget no. a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I need a week off. The XFL I, is firing. There we go. I'm taking my pads out again. Yeah, yeah. yeah XFL. I'm going to go try and play XFL. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I, you know what? I – and I'm going to give her all her props. Nerissa Daniels Crawford, I think. I don't know how many names she has. I think it's just Nerissa <laughs> Daniels. I don't know. 
Anyways, there, yeah, I, she sent me some. She sent me some results. Now I can't. It, find it, them. I got them right here. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, okay. Anyways, it, I it would it has to be the quickest results I think I've ever received in my entire life, and I'm gonna give her props for it. It's probably just because she was so excited that she won, because I believe it was the first ever time she won the ladies Nova Scotia provincials. So her and the team of she unit. Uh, Brenda Berry, Laura Castle, Stephanie Ashley, Crystal Grandy, Narissa Daniels, and Heather Martin. They were the winners of the Nova Scotia Ladies Provincials with a record of 62 and 4. Whew. Holy Good. guacamole. That is, uh, and actually not too far behind were the Deadwood Divas at 60 and 6. Damn. So they only won by wow. two points and by 35 pins and pinfall. Holy manoli. That was a. Uh, that's a nail biter. That's a close finish. I wish they had the who phase two in the last couple of rounds because that would have been neat to see how they would. Oh, I do have it right here. Oh, my bad. Deadwood Divas beat Unbelievable for all six. Oh, they only did two string matches. Okay. And then the she unit took all six. So they needed to take all six to not have a tie. Wow. Good for them. So they were the winners and Deadwood Divas were second place. Who's on Deadwood uh, Divas? Deadwood Divas was, yeah, I just have to find the team. I got all the teams here. Uh, Chick, uh, Lisa Lynch, Sarah Kenny, Courtney Tremere, Stephanie Miller, and D Nice. D Nice Pinson. Um, by the you look, as well, hold on, you as what? well, Steve Reno. We have a Hall of Famer in the chat right now, folks. Steve Reno, congratulations, Steve. Well deserved. Congratulations, Steve. Much, much, much well deserved for you, Bob. It looks like uh, Stephanie Miller was the high average at 114. She's bowling so. good this year. She is bowling good. She's gonna. She's bowling. I think uh, uh, mixed worlds. So they're gonna. She's gonna be a fighter there. It's gonna be a good team. Um, upcoming BJ's doubles is this Saturday. It is full with waitlist. So I like hearing that about tournaments. Yes, full with waitlist is always good. And then uh, I think that's kind of it for the season. I don't think there's much else scheduled aside from uh, Can Ams and uh, Mixed Worlds. I don't know if there's much else coming up in Nova Scotia, but yeah, so that was it for Canada. Excellent. So, Steve, uh, Reno just. That. That's me. not much of a team. No. Nah. That's I, I couldn't remember. It's funny that I can remember Reno bowling, but I couldn't remember Ulster bowling. <laughs> That's it's funny. Like, it's like that old joke about the Red Sox lineup. Who you got? Rice, Evans, or, uh, Rice, Lennon, Pustremski. Keep the cart warm. <laughs> I, I, I remember. Off. That's why I remember Steve. He he just for those that can't see, he went four sixty eight against Russ and AJ that day. Wow. That was just oh my god. As an eighteen, as as for me, as an eighteen-year-old that was just coming out of juniors, that was just coming into the game. I mean, it was it was so impressive to 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 see that, and then to turn around and beat Rosario and John Zernike in the finals. Jesus, I mean, you you're looking at Russ and Al are in the Hall of Fame. Rosario and Zernike are in the Hall of Fame. So. You had to run the Hall of Fame field to get in and to and win. Two Hall of Famers beating him, and he's bowling with a Hall of Famer. Now he's in the yeah. Hall of Fame. Not too shabby. Wow. Wow. Um, I was looking for Evans post so I could. Talk I can about give it. you the final four uh, Monus doubles from one seven ten one. Oh. Yeah, go go ahead and do that because um, yeah. So we to... had a mixed doubles that Moral Lamar put together at one seven ten uh, last weekend, and congratulations to Mark Carrier and Vanessa Huff who won that. Uh, and the runners up were Katie Witham and myself. Uh, we finished second, uh, and then we beat Aaron Batsford and Jenna Ward to get into the finals. And Mark and Vanessa beat. Uh, Mark Weber and Kerrigan Skinner, who were the one seed. Ooh. So uh, I do believe the final score, uh, Katie, unfortunately, struggled a bit. She had an 89. Um, Vanessa had a 114, and Mark and I both tied in the last string at 121. 
Nice. Good job, bud. Thank you. I don't know. I think I don't know if Weber had a higher single. I had 163. I don't know if Weber's single was higher than mine, but I might have sneaked out high single in the tournament. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'm I'm searching feverishly for. Um, here it is. So he didn't post that on. Oh, and one more thing. Weber threw his new high five. He was over 700 the first five. And he yeah, I think it was 728. 728, like he went 13, over 1,300 yeah. for 10 the first day. So good bowl, Mark. Yeah. Uh, and also 16-year-old uh, Stephen Ashey set the lane record at all play in yeah, Belfast. 188. Five bagger to start. Not bad. Yeah. Good start. That's that's okay. I oh, mean, and my my partner Katie with him through her first ever six hundred on Saturday. She's six twenty three. Well, no wonder you guys won. Absolutely, she carries me. I showed up <laughs> when I had to. <laughs> uh, so Evan, uh, they ran a tournament up at Bangor Brewer. On yeah, Sunday. yesterday. Yeah. Um, yes. Yep. Uh, Twenty seven teams uh, for a I believe it was a handicap uh, handicap yes. tournament. Uh, so fifth place was Mike Gagnon and Chris Desjardins. Desjardins. They pulled uh, together for years, man. Fourth place was Tiger Jordan and Christina Dill. Third was Cheech and Aaron St. Cyr. Second was Chris Lafreniere and Ryan Drago. Uh, that's our uh, Ivan Drago's uncle's nephew's cousin. Uh -huh. yeah. Sweet. And then uh, first place was Jerry Lapierre and Sean Doran. Uh, high handicap single was Matt Hoff and Mark Weber. Uh, high scratch series was Corrado Pani and Stephen Bate. So, good job. I'm hey, sure. way to go for Steve and Corrado making the drive up there for a one-day tournament. Oh, they Matt Nichols made the drive up. Yeah, it was great. Um, a lot of guys made the Cheech, drive up. Cheech and St. Cyr. Yeah, and, thank you for that. Very much so. Uh, you had Kevin Granton and uh, Lynn came down yeah. from Canada. Um, so, and I think. Travis Wallace might have come down. Yes, I Travis think. and Travis and another guy from uh, Main Street. I think he bowls out of. Okay, might be at a, just Kingswood. I don't remember. So why is there, is there a squirrel in your house? No, I'm freezing in my office, and I've got the heat. I've got my electric why heater on. Have the heat on. It's May, dude. Yeah, it's 59 yeah. degrees in my office. It's it's, it's freaking cold. It's like. 80 here in Moncton, so you need to relax yourself. Oh my god, he's so old. Oh, he's ridiculous. It is freezing. In I hope my when office. he gets I hope when he gets its surgery, it fixes his like blood. Oh god, I hope so. Uh, it's it's just that up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, like, I'm no, here. Really, look, look, look at my yeah. look at my leg. Look at my leg. Oh, he disappeared. Calvin's gone. Oh, <laughs> uh, so again, uh, really cool turnout. Glad they were able to get 27 teams um, on a you know holiday weekend down here. I so that would be the time then you should be getting a whole bunch of teams. Not this you don't time have to go to work. <laughs> now it's it's tough this time of year, I mean, especially with the fact that it was 88 degrees yesterday down here. Yeah. So there was a post as well. Um, Sue Doherty put up on the Team USA Can Am page that we are looking for a man for the Saturday shift of the Can Am. To bowl with a another American woman. So if you are interested, contact Sue, Emma, or Judy. Yeah, we Canadians don't want to cross border. Would you stop, Tim? I, I can't get it closer. It's oh, it's cold in here. Stop! I, it is I, not I, cold. I am freezing. Um. So there's a couple of things coming up uh, for the mixed worlds. Um, yes. And and we will talk about the mixed worlds. Um, 25 days. I would say we'd probably talk about that in our next one. Yeah, because that'll yeah. be that'll yeah. be the 10th, and then we'll be back when the, the day Monday. after or the Monday yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they are doing a cornhole fundraiser for mixed worlds. Bring your own partner, hundred dollars per team, round robin into a double elimination. Uh, Sixty percent to the prize fund, forty percent back to mixed worlds prize fund. Sunday, June 11th, registration at 12. Bags fly at 1 p.m. Uh, this will be at Lita Lane's. Um, truly promo in the afternoon. 
Oh. 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 So, uh, head on down, head on over, head on up, whatever it is for you to get there. Um, and go give it a good cornhole. Go, go give it a good cornhole. And... <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> Where have we Calvin gone? looks disappointed. Where have we gone? In our in our in our comedy, <laughs> like where 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 I can't wait we? for I can't. So Angie has already warned me about my speech. <laughs> I, yeah, Kelly's Jeez, like yeah. Tim's Tim's gonna be okay, right? I'm like I don't know. Tim, <laughs> what? It has to be good. I know. That's it a has, lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. It has to be good. I don't handle like, pressure well. So like listen. like roast of Tim Matero, good. It has Ooh. to be. I know it's hard you to get. You can't roast the other inductees. Can't oh, oh. know what this is. O M G, you should. Oh, that would be now. I gave you an idea. Timothy. Oh no. Oh, Can Timothy, I? I will help you if you just <laughs> give me some stuff. I will help oh, you. Oh, that would be great. Oh, Has oh. anyone ever had their Hall of Fame invitation or send it? <laughs> oh, it's gonna. It, we're gonna find the first. So <laughs> I, I, I will again. What. I will. I. I did <laughs> accept, obviously the 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 you know the offer. Yeah, uh, still there. No, I look. I I know I haven't agreed with everything the ICBA has done. Um, nor nor should style. nor should anyone agree because if you agree all the time, then are they really complacent. doing? Yeah. yeah, you get complacent. Um, but I think they got it right this time. Mm-hmm. Just saying. That should be part of your speech. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have the ladies candle pins for cancer. Um, round one of seven. Uh, right now, uh, Madison Riva and Peggy Donnelly are tied uh, 558. Um, you have the next schedule shift is Tuesday, June 6th at 2 p.m. Thursday, June 8th at 2 p.m. Saturday, June 10th, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And Sunday, June eleventh, ten a.m. and one p.m. Uh, to bowl and or donate, go to candlepinsforcancer.com. Eighty dollar entry fee per shift. Unlimited shifts allowed. Top five to the live show, which will be Saturday, July 9th, ten a.m. at Exeter Lanes. Um, so, Candlepins for Cancer, by the way, is a five hundred one c three charity. For those that want to donate but want to make sure they're donating to an actual charity. This is an actual 501c3. So get out there, ladies. And we've got Teacher Rose coming up this Sunday, June 4th, 10 a.m. That is at Lita Lanes. There's a 0. Uh, 0. 0.0187 chance of snow. Yep. You can see that in the post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, snow tires back on, people. Yeah. Let, let, let Chicha know if you're still in. Um, I think he was just trying to get a, uh, trying to get a count to make sure that uh, you know they obviously had enough uh, to field a solid tournament. And by the way, um, the amount of people, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Caitlin Finn at the moment because the amount of people that they're getting on their TikToks, yeah. And their lives and things like that, when they're doing stuff out of Millis, it's absolutely phenomenal. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Caitlin is doing a great job. And now they've started miking up bowlers. Which I think is hilarious. Which is hilarious. I, mic'd up is my favorite part of most sporting events. So I, I hope they mic people up in the world. Well, maybe not. That could be bad. Oh, my God. I just I – just, I, I think I think Caitlin and Danny and, and those guys have done a great job with with their uh, social media presence and everything they've done. So, uh, Caitlin, good job. Keep How it up. How many are in Millis? Huh? That's How many? There. Yeah. Do they have over twenty four? I don't. I don't know. 20. I can't remember. Steve Reno, if you're still listening, um, how many lanes does Millis have? It's a great question. I mean, Danny's not listening to this podcast religiously. Why I know it's that? I know it's more than twelve, and it's less than forty. I know that. I got to make it out to a tournament there so I can get mic'd up. You got to bowl a bear. Imagine 22. me mic'd up. Twenty-two. Ah. 
Imagine being my chef for a whole Thank day. Oh. Oh. That would be a fun place to have the world. Oh. Honestly. I think so, Ian. I think they did do an ACST. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty freaking cool, though. To, yeah. I'll be scrolling through TikTok, and all of a sudden, the, you know, they come up, and it's, you know, the first one they had was uh, Charlie Collins. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is pretty funny. You know, hello, someone that works here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just cracked me up. Um, I I don't think I, I should think be fine. up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mm. Oh, yeah. Because it would just be, ah, stupid, Tim. Why? <laughs> Why would you throw that ball there? That's such well, a shitty no, ball. For Tim, it would be, like, oh, oh, sugar. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lot better than I used to be. We all are. Uh, We've all done no. some growing up. So tonight's episode, folks, is brought to you by Prime Energy. Don't drinks. give Logan Paul any more publicity. Yeah. Than this is the only thing I like that. Logan Paul for. It's his prime energy drinks. He's a hell of a wrestler. I heard they're crap, and he is a good wrestler. Oh, the, you heard these are crap? Yeah. From what? From people. Oh, Tim's gonna throw down now. These are fantastic. These and these, these are by a Hall of Famer. I will yeah. fight. <laughs> I will fight to the death on these. It's yeah. the only thing that I eat that's vegan. That's vegan. <laughs> that's right vegan. There, vegan. Vegan. And you See, don't I'm vegan. Eat it, him. If you chew your drink, you should probably go to the doctor because. <laughs> <laughs> There, there shouldn't be anything chunky in there. Uh, what is, that's I that prime like, energy drink right there. That's I, feel like, dude, I feel like we're missing a whole bunch of things. So we got the candy coming Calvin. up. We've got the mixed worlds coming up. We've got Chicha Rose. Um, more candle pins for cancer qualifying. More candle pins uh, for cancer qualifying. There's a, there's a ton of stuff well, coming up. The Kids Bowl for free um, so program starts soon. So see if your local bowl and alley participates in Kids Bowl for free in the summer. I think each kid gets like uh, free string a week or three a week or something like that. I don't know, but I know it starts in. I know they do it in Bangor. Uh, oh, Chris, uh, Chris Bovere is getting married on Saturday. Cool. My so, condolences to his fiance. Congratulations yeah, to, to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My condolences to Imaginary Girl. I, I don't know who she is, I've never seen her before. It doesn't, she doesn't. We met that. somebody at Evan's wedding. I, so I will, sure I will say her. she is real. No, she's not. No, she she is real. No, she's not. Um, you, you can't. And I don't even. Life. I don't even. I think. I think the uh, monetary payments have stopped, which means she's still around. Again, so, it's not. She, she can't be. Nobody in their right mind would put up with Chris Boyver for a lengthy period of time. Um. So, nobody real. Nobody. Nothing. It's, it's just not possible. I will. Uh, I will say as well that. Uh, my my youngest child proposed to his girlfriend out in Vegas. Oh no! So Jordan and Olivia are engaged. Is it because you're going to be a grandpa soon? I don't think so. Ah! I, hey, I'm ready to be a grandpa. Done wedding. I, I'm okay <laughs> with that. I I have been hounding all three of my kids to be like, hey, uh, I'm not getting any younger here, and we can't get any more cats. Mom's going crazy. Yeah. I can't have a cat in the house. I've got yeah. enough. I need to do it for mom, not for me. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, right. So we've got we've got the uh, uh, ACST um, playoffs or playoffs. playoffs 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 um, about playoffs. So that was the. By the way, I know we showed a couple of uh, Winnie R's shots there. Uh, that was a heck of a match. Uh, Chenard uh, ended up winning five eighty two to five eighty. So that was a two pin match. Wow. Um, we got Dean Sullivan moving on, uh, Keith Bopre moving on, uh, Nate Lees. I keep thinking Calvin's grabbing something out of that imaginary bowl behind you. You, you got uh, <laughs> Justin Waters, Ed Woodside, um, and Charlie Collins and Body Armor Bowl. They're not, bowl oh, wow. They got a little ways to go before they're bowling. What the heck in the what? Did you say Body Armor? Was that English? Stephen Bate. <laughs> Don't you call him body, body Armor? armor. Who, who's Body Armor? <laughs> We're not sponsored by Body Armor. Today's episode is brought to you by Prime Energy Drink. No, it's vegan. You're body Armor. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm. Well, who the hell's Body Armor? <laughs> oh, Danny Finn is listening. 
Oh, good job, uh, Danny. Charlie got hurt, so they postponed the match. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Charlie hurt himself. Make, please tell make Charlie sure. his, please his make sure you tell your better. You better have told your. You better have told your better half that uh, that we like her more than you. I mean, that we think she's doing a hell of a job with this social media stuff for you guys. Yes, the vote. So, it, Timmy Douglas uh, won as well. In uh, the B, we have uh, Logan. Uh, oh my God! Why can't people have names that I can pronounce? Is it Gingras? Gin Gingras? Gingras? Gingras. 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 I think so. Uh, Gin Grass. Thank you, Danny. See Danny for the win. Message me right now. Gin Grass. Gin like the drink. And grass like. Does grass. Danny want to be our producer? Danny, you want to be our producer? <laughs> yeah, are you, you know, did you just talk to your computer? What <laughs> the absolute hell is going on right now? Did you just literally turn your head and go, hey, you want, did you just <laughs> talk I, to your I looked right at because he's <laughs> messaging me and I looked right at it. Tim, we need to end the show quickly. We're going to all, all, all going to go daffy before the what show. What in the absolute hell just happened? Did you literally just turn your head and talk to it and expect him to answer? He's not Alexa. It's a screen. Well, no, he's definitely he's my Alexa. Tim, it's Dan, just, no. Dan, Danny, play Lady Gaga. <laughs> play Danny, play Lady Gaga. Oh my God! No, you know what? Uh, we really okay. can't do that because if people listen to this over their loudspeaker, when you say Alexa, play Lady Gaga, <laughs> well, a lot of Alexas just went off right now. I hope that turned off a lot of Alexas. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, Alexa, please stop. Alexa, play WAP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke Tim. You broke Tim. <laughs> I broke me. I'm in tears over here. <laughs> My face hurts. Oh, God. oh goodness. Oh. Can we get on with the, everybody? Yeah, can we, can, <laughs> oh, my God. Can we get on with the B League here? I don't so, know. What's going on? Uh, Rich Lottie, moving on. Uh, uh, Joseph de Alameda. Uh, Pete Metevier. Uh, we got uh, Dan Estale. Uh, Mike Capone. Uh, Mike Legendre. And uh, Mickey uh, Dijani, Dijani, Dijorno. Pizza. Mikey the Pizza. That's uh, he. He's moving on. <laughs> Is he a gangster? I I hope people understand that I just suck at pronouncing names, so I am not purposely trying to butcher names here. He's not good at uh, English, people. <laughs> uh, Dijani. DG Annie. Thank, thank you, Danny. I looked at my computer again. <laughs> thank you, Danny. It's going to be the, you're going to create it. We got to oh. trademark this. The Danny. Oh. The, first, it's the Alexa. Then no, it's, it's the Google. Not now it's the Danny. It's not oh, my God. Danny. Uh, we got uh, the ACSTC League. Uh, we got <laughs> Tony Levesque, uh, Jeff Little, Brian Patton, Casey McCool. Uh, Dave Peterson, Nate Wheeler, Mike Fabrizio Smith, Michael Fabrizio Smith, sorry, and uh, Pat McCauley. See, the C League is the C League is perfect, is they had is? names I could pronounce, like Smith. How do you watch Lake. hockey? You can't pronounce half the name. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, half, they're, they're half Russian. <laughs> oh my God! What do you just say? Like that guy with a lot of consonants on his back? Yeah, yeah. This show has uh, he does the numbers. He does it by the numbers. Oh God, Those yeah. <laughs> oh, Ian, you have no idea how much that was a struggle. Uh, and Danny's right. Nothing like Mike Smith versus Mike Smith. I mean, does it really get any better than that? Definitely doesn't get any easier for you. Angela, you have to nominate Calvin, and he has to be 50. He's not 50. Ah, not that yet. just means I'm I, old. I feel 50. Oh, yeah, that's oh. the first ballot Hall of Famer. Look at you. That's true. No you comment. Turn 50, and you got into the Hall of Fame right away. That's first ballot, man. That's that's pretty clutch. That's something. It's even more to be proud of. I, I am proud. You're not, I'm, you're I'm not, trying to you're, be humble. 
It's hey, hard for me. Hey, Damn it. You're better. You're better than Barry Bonds, and he broke records. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds should be in the Hall of Fame. Did we start talking about how Tim can't do English? <laughs> he can math, but he can't do English. Oh, I can't. I can't math. He can't math either. Tim is a Hall of Fame bowler. We but if we was bowled, Hall of... we bowled with him for a weekend. When did he ever math good? <laughs> no, Calvin. But you gotta admit, that. I at He's least a Hall have of Fame fun. bowler. But he is the worst scorekeeper you will ever have in your life. You, He's will, not, hear, not you will hear at least two times a half. What'd you have? What'd you have? Hey, bro, what was the fill on that in the second? I'm on the it's, fourth ball. It's because he's it's because he's Snapchatting all the time. <laughs> this yeah. is a terrible idea. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I suck at bowling. Yeah, we heard you, Tim. We know. But you gotta at least I'm fun to bowl with. Sure, you're fun to watch. Because yeah, I never I I never once knew where the ball was going. <laughs> you let go of it. <laughs> Neither did I. I mean, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely not. Who are we kidding here? Yeah. Oh my God. So uh, on a positive note, uh, before we end the show, um, sometime in the next couple of shows, we will have a special guest oh, by the name of Bobby Whitcomb. Bobby Whitcomb. Yeah. And Bobby will be joining us at some point. Um, all, all manning Bobby Wood is like all manning Mr. Rogers. Like, yeah, uh, no. Mr. Rogers was a pedo, bud. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, whoa. man, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We, we gotta end the show now. I have to go take Calvin out and beat him up for <laughs> whoa. <laughs> By the way, I would, uh, if have you seen um, a man called Otto? I want to, but I have not. What is it on? Is it is it on like Crave or? We crazy. don't have Crave here. Oh, what do you guys have? Normal TV. We station. have normal. We have Merck and shit. No, no, Crave is a network. Yeah, I, Crave I've never heard of CBS Crave and NBC. No, no, Crave. It's it's like Netflix. Crave is like Netflix. It's See, like we a, have it's, Netflix. It's, we it's have Hulu. Movie. We have Peacock. We have Amazon yeah. TV. We have Amazon Prime. We have Disney Plus. Apple Max, TV. We have Apple. Disney Plus. Peacock. Paramount. Uh, I mean, you don't have, and Crave is the one you don't never have. Never heard of That's, Crave. In the States. But anyway, I made so I think everybody now knows that I oh, probably I, yeah. I'm a crier. Like yeah. I think everybody knows that I'm a yeah. crier. I, I, I bet that's a crying movie. It looks and, good. And yes, for for people that have asked, and I have I have had people ask. Yes, I cried when I got the call. Aww. I did. I admit yeah. it. I cried. Tears of joy, tears of happiness, whatever. Man called auto. I'm on the flight back from Florida, and I'm like, "Oh, I'll watch this." I had to, I had to rage quit because I was going to be crying on the airplane. Oh yeah, easily. Not a good thing to do. No, it's on Prime. It is a fantastic yeah. movie, by the way. It's it's yeah. one of my top. Uh, Jesus, we've got to do a top ten. Can we? Do I know. A top we, 10? We, man, for, literally, if you wanted to go back and listen to the last five minutes of every podcast, we've said for like the last ten. five weeks. We said we we're going to do a top ten. We have. I want to do. A, I wanted to do a top ten Tom Hanks movies. Oh, why? Let's do it. No, no, man. A League Forrest of Their Own. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Like uh, Forrest Gump. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of them. Um, what's the like, ooh, even uh, Castaway? Castaway, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Man called Auto, Mr. Rogers, in Seattle. Oh. You got mail? Yep. Okay. Oh. Um, top ten Tom Hanks movies. When? Go. I don't know. I, I mean, that's just going to be one of. We'll talk about it. We got to go. We're getting up to an hour. Ooh, self intro. So we're going to wrap this show up. Celtics are on uh, now, aren't they? Because I've got the Celtics on in 25 minutes, and I'd like to get this show wrapped up and over to uh, our other podcast medium. So, uh, folks, thank you for uh, sticking with us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for um, your feedback. Uh, as always, we would enjoy your questions, your comments, your concerns. Please send them over to Ripping the Rack Podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on uh, Twitter. Uh, I don't know. I've, it's been so long since I've had Brian here to do this. Yeah. Well, Tim, they can hear us on oh, the no. Hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Wait your turn. First, we need the disclaimer. 
Oh, <laughs> the views and expressions of Ripping Your Act podcast are those of Ripping Your Act podcast. And, well, we have a Hall of Famer and you don't. So you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Brian, where else can people hear our or watch our show? They can hear us, Tim, on Anchor, Breaker, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to your podcast mediums. Perfect. As usual, good job. So once again, folks, thank you. Calvin, Brian, yeah. thank you. You're welcome, Tim. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Well thank deserved. you. We will see you guys a uh, couple weeks. In a couple weeks. Peace out. Go Celtics. Let's go Heat. Go Celtics. Let's go Heat. 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 Let's go Heat.